Okay, folks, so I oftentimes want things to be true, and I think a lot of other folks do as well, right? Why wouldn't you? You find the deal of a lifetime, it checks out, it looks legit, so it probably is, right? <laughs> generally, generally not. So, had a customer, I've been talking to him about tractors, okay? Uh, he's been looking at a Coyote DK. And he's doing some shopping, came across something that was on Facebook Marketplace. Beautiful looking machine, a Kubota Grand L6060 with a loader and a backhoe. Looks like a tiller, brush hog, a land plane, maybe some other stuff as well. So just send me some pictures of it that uh, came from EquipmentSolutionLLC.com. Didn't send me a link to it, didn't send me the pricing, anything else, just asked what I thought about that machine. And he says, I saw this on Marketplace. I've had several emails with them, but it still seems like too good of a deal to be true. Your thoughts? Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. So that should be that flag in your head, right? Like, it seems too good to be true. So, number one, if something's too good to be true, it is, all right? And on the odd 1% chance, tenth of a percent chance that it's actually true, it's not just sitting there waiting for you. <laughs> that deal is gone in five minutes, okay? It's, it's gone in a heartbeat. It's not hanging around for a week or two weeks or three weeks or a month just for you to uncover and discover it. Uh, especially if he's advertising it on Facebook Marketplace, you can guarantee it's gone in five minutes. So that should be the first big clue. And I'm not, I'm not picking on uh, this guy either. I, I'm just saying that's how, this is how I go through that process and how you can save a whole lot of your time and take that queasy feeling out of your stomach. There's excitement and then there's queasiness because you're like, man, this is insane. I better, I need to get jumping on this. If it's that good of a price, it's, it's not true. So I asked him how much this tractor is because he didn't tell me and that's an important piece of information to know. Keep in mind, this is a Kubota Grand L6060 tractor with a loader and a backhoe. It had like 330 or 360 hours on it. With a tiller, a brush hog, a land plane, Looks to be in beautiful condition. Maybe some extra remotes on there too. All sorts of stuff, just, just decked out. Sweet machine, who doesn't want this machine? For $24,600. I mean, that's just, for me, again, because I have, I've done, that's all I do is look at tractors all the time. That's, I'm just moving right on. That's a scam. If I can flag it, I flag it and report it because that's a scam. I don't need to know anything else. That's a scam, okay? so. I replied and I said, LOL, delete it and run the other way. You know, and uh, he replied and said, uh, they're telling him that it's a repo and who cares, right? I mean, that's, <laughs> that tractor should go for 55, 60 grand minimum. And I didn't even, that was probably without the tiller and the, uh, the land plane and the brush hog, that was included. I mean, you're, you're over 60 grand. You, you may be close to 70 grand for that tractor used. Uh, and so th the fact that it's listing for $40,000 less than what it should be going for, nobody's selling a piece of equipment that far under the value if it's legit. I don't care if it's a repo. I don't care what the heck it is. There's, there's no way you're just going to miss out on 40 grand if you have to do a fire sale or get rid of something. You just list it for 10 grand under or 5 grand under, and you're going to have people drool all over it because resellers can buy that and make money on it. So it's just, you know, I, I said, so what? I said, that's a scam. If that tractor's been for sale for longer than five minutes without being sold, it's a scam. Please don't give them any information. Ignore them completely. So, I mean, it's just one of those things that I, I'm not, I don't even need to look at it any further. So I did though. I did. I went to, what's their website? EquipmentSolutionLLC.com. All right. So I, I Google searched that. And the first result is their website. Okay, that comes up. Just so you know, folks, it's a pretty good looking website. They've got some featured items. They have another even better deal. Just an even better deal just hanging out there. 2020 4066R with a loader and a backhoe for $22,000. Just a beautiful machine. Only 479 hours. Whew. Just dialed in. What a steal. Like they're going to steal your money. And some other stuff on there too. 
laughable. 2019 John Deere 5090M for 29.5. Guys, this site looks legit, all right? That is a problem because they, they have gone, I don't know how this is still up and, up and running. I, I mean, they don't have their phone number on their website. You can email them, okay? They're based in Florida. So I go further down the, the Google search results and you get to the owner. Oh wait, no, maybe that's something different. I'm sorry, that's not the owner. That's, that's tied in, unfortunately, C&W Equipment Solution LLC. And so that may be a different company that's being tied in, but they are based in Brentwood, Tennessee. Used and reconditioned equipment sales. So I don't know if he's being drug into this somehow, or if he's involved, I haven't reached out. If you're an innocent bystander, Wayne, I'm sorry. So then I scroll down further, and what do you start to see? I didn't type in anything about scam, fraud, nothing like that. I just typed in equipment solution LLC.com. And you have scam detector. On a scale of one to a hundred, it's a 5.8 on the trust level, with one being the worst, a hundred being the best. 5.8. Then another result pops up: scamdoc.com. Bad trust score, one percent. Webparanoid.com, flagged as suspicious. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So you get the, the idea folks, it's not very often that you're gonna have the ability to go right to their website, kind of look through it. That's a, uh, what do I know? Maybe this is legit. I'm telling you, if it seems too good to be true, then it is, okay? And this is a case of that. There's no, there's no way these machines are out there for that kind of money. There's just no way, even if it is, that to me, is, there's something off. There's something majorly off, okay? So that's just a too big of a red flag. I don't know if anybody else there has done business with this company, can prove me wrong, but I'm sorry, I, that's not, you don't have your phone number on the website. If it is, I can't find it, okay? It's got all these other scam alert things that pop up without being prompted, not searching for a scam, not searching for fraud. Okay, that's an easy way to validate here on top of the sniff test, right? Just plug that model in, Kubota L6060 into Tractor House, see how much they're going for. They're all within a certain range, whether they have one hour brand new, or if they have a thousand hours or 3000 hours, okay? If something's got just a few hundred hours on it, it's gonna be at the higher end of that price range, not the lower end. But even the 3000 hour machines are, are going for more than this without a backhoe. So let the common sense guide you. I'm okay if you wanna bounce things off of me, I don't have any problem at all, but more often than not, I'm gonna tell you it's a scam. It's not because I'm like, oh, I want you to buy a tractor for me. I don't care if you buy a tractor from me or not. You can buy your tractor from whoever you want. The last thing I want is for you to spend your hard-earned money giving it to some other scammer with some, who knows where this would have gone. You know, the only thing you can do is, is lead them along, right? Just string them along to get as much information out of them and report that to the authorities. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they want to do much about these things these days, that probably because there's so many of them. They can only do, there's only so much time in the day, there's only so many resources to handle this stuff, but more and more, these kinds of things are appearing. So somebody else help me out here. You got more information on this company. You've done business with them. You've been scammed by them. You communicated with them. You saw them on Facebook. What's the deal there? Be good to get uh, more information on there to, I'm assuming, protect people from them or on the 1% or less chance that somehow these folks get equipment for cheaper than anybody else in the whole world, including Kubota and John Deere, then well, maybe they've got a, a secret angle. I don't think that's the case. Another easy way is to look at the images that they're providing in their listing. Now, in this case, they sent him a bunch of, emailed him a bunch of images as well, which are different from the images that are on their website. There's a picture of the hours that he sent that was 330 or 360 hours on their website. It lists 400 and some hours on there. That doesn't match up, right? 
look for those little features. You know, do the tire tread patterns match? Do the have a third function and the description and matching in the pictures? The number of rear remotes, an air ride seat, whatever all these little options and accessories are that make sure all that carries through from beginning to the end. Not saying I'm not going to have a typo here and there on in my information as well, but um, when all these factors start to compound and add up, that's when you can really, that's where you can really point your finger at that being a scam and, and moving on, leaving it alone. The last thing you want to do is give up personal information of any kind early on. So folks, anyways, it's emails like that that I like to share with you because I think it can help out the broader community. All right, it's a scary world out there and as long as you're doing it the, the right way, a safe way, you're, you're going to be good. But these criminals are getting more advanced in what they can do as well. We've talked about other scams on the channel too. So I hope you found this useful and helpful. If you are in the market for a tractor or a tractor attachment, we'd love to help you out. Send us an email. We also have a phone number too, but you can send us an email. Tell us what you're looking for. We'll get you, we'll send you the links to what we have on our website. If you want to come pick it up, you can see it all in person too. We do periodic warehouse tours. We do inventory overviews, all that kind of stuff. So we, we're real. We carry the stuff that we say we do. Now inventory does change from time to time, turns over. Sometimes things are in stock, sometimes they're out of stock, but we're legit, I can tell you that. So go to goodworkstractors.com to see if we have what you need to fit your tractor. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.